Hi friends and welcome to my channel Beauty Boomer. My name is Rose. If you're here for the first time, welcome. And if you're a new subscriber, I thank you so much for coming over to my channel and clicking that subscribe button. It really means the world to me. I'd like to grow this channel um, at least to get maybe to a thousand subscribers and that would be really a fun goal to have. So I'm at 200 now and I'm not complaining at all. I'm very, very happy. Uh, today I'm doing my second look with the Jeffree Star palette, the Jeffree Star Blood Sugar palette. This is a pinky gold look, so stay tuned and I'll show you how I do that. So I've already done one eye. I haven't done any foundation uh, this time. Because I'm working with these reds and sometimes there's fallout, I decided to do my eyes first. So I haven't done my brows or my base or anything like that. So let's go right in. I've already primed my it, my lid, not my id. <laughs> that would be funny. Uh, with the Painterly Paint Pot by MAC. And then I went over it with this lighter shade in the palette. It's called Glucose. So one thing about this palette, this is not a beginner's palette. This is a, somebody who really likes to play with makeup, is not afraid of color. Um, it's... It takes a little time to get used to these shades if you're not used to them, which I don't do tons of reds and purples. So this is, a, I would say, almost out of my comfort zone, this palette, but I did want to try it because I was curious about it. And it is just makeup. At the end of the day, we can wash it off. So with that, I'm going to go right in with Cake Mix. And I'm just going to lay that down sort of as a transition color. Um, so now I'm gonna go into this color. It is called Cherry Soda, and it's right down here, and I'm gonna use the same brush and just start to deepen that. And then I'm gonna dip into Cake Mix again and just buff it over a little bit. And then I'm going to take a bigger blending brush and blend that out. So I'm dragging it past uh, the brow line, but I'm going to clean that up when I'm done. So this is not how it's going to look forever. So I'm going to go down a size and brush and dip into this color. It's called Intravenous. And I'm going to start doing the outer corner. I don't want to go too high up, so I want to just really keep it on this corner. And then I'm just going to tap my brush on my cloth and get the excess off and then bring the rest up into the crease just to blend that in. Now I'm going to take a packing brush, which is a small shadow brush like this. And I'm going to put lay down all this gold. Over the whole lid. So it's starting to, to take some shape. So it's going to end up being like a kind of golden uh, into the, the deeper pink tones. Um, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to take this uh, tiny little brush and I'm going to go into this color candy floss and I'm going to go over the brow, right under the brow bone as a highlighter. And then I'm going to go in here too, but I'm going to really shade in not just the tear duct, but the inner corner. So we get some nice bright reflex there, some nice bright pink reflex when the light hits it. And then I'm going to take this little liner brush and I put a little bit of spray 
a uh, little bit, bit of this uh, Mario Badesco spray on my palette here, on my little glass palette. And then I'm going right into the corner of this color intravenous. So I don't want to dip it right in, but right on the end there. And I'm going to make a liner out of it. Okay, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to wipe off the core excess here and I'm going to put my foundation and brows, everything on, and then I'm going to come back and we'll finish the under uh, eye area and the finished look. So I've gone ahead and uh, done my foundation. For today, I used the uh, CC Cream by It Cosmetics. I went over top of that with the Mineral Val by Bare Essentials, just to kind of set it. Uh, for a blush, I used Rockateur, which is a really nice shade by Benefit. Um, it's a deep pinky shade, and it has a little bit of a sheen to it. So I do like that. And then I went on top of that with the Pop Lux uh, Sex Life. I, I really do like that. One thing I did is I took the excess of what was on my blush brush and uh, I just kind of went up into my temples and just all around here. Now what I'm going to do is I don't like to have a real harsh line like that. Um, I know some people love it but I don't. I like something just a little bit softer, a little less severe, I think works better for, for me. Um, so this is, you could leave it like this and do your under eyes, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take this little fluffy brush. It came in the Anastasia Beverly Hills palette, and I'm gonna go back into that color cake mix, and I'm just going to diffuse this line here. So we've got that diffused out. So I'm gonna go back into that cake mix on the little end of this brush. And I'm just gonna bring that under the lower lash line, connect it up. And then I'm gonna take that darker color, the same color I used here in the corner, and I'm going to, I'm gonna to touch up the corner a little bit with this little brush. I still want to have some depth there. And then I'm going to take it and start smoking out the lower lash line and connecting it in the corner. I know no one ever uses the brushes that come in the kits, but for some reason, I love this little brush that comes in. Any Anastasia palette that you get comes with this. And I find myself using it quite a bit for, like I said, blending or going under the lower lash line. Um, so don't throw it away, it does work. So we've smoked out that lower lash line. Then I'm gonna go in with a um, pencil. Let's see if I can find her. Here we go. I'm gonna go in with just a uh, brown, this is a Rimmel, I believe, a brown liner pencil, and I'm going to uh, tight line the lower lash line and then I'm going to go in and tight line the upper lash line as well get this right in at the lash line let's rub it in So that really brings the focus now right into the eyes. And for mascara today, I'm going to use my Roller Lash. And I like to go right into these lashes right at the bottom and wiggle the brush a little bit. And with this roller lash, you can do that and it doesn't get all clumpy. If I were to do that with this IT Cosmetics mascara, it would be a hot 
bloody mess all over the place. So um, that's one of the reasons that I like roller lashes. You can get right in there and get that right down at the base of the lash line. So because this is kind of a, a, a bolder eye look, I think this would be a great look for like a holiday party. It has a, It's dramatic. It's, I don't know, I think it's kind of sexy. Um, so I'm going to go in with this um, Christmas cookie by Jeffree Star. It's kind of a nude lip. So it'll keep, it'll keep all the attention up here at your eyes. And let's take my hair out. I'm going to set my face, too, with the uh, Slay All Day Setting Spray. Really like this by Gerard Cosmetics. Alright, so one more thing that you can do is put a little bit of gloss right in the center. This is the Fenty Universal Color. I really love that because it just goes over everything. You can't go wrong with it. So. Um, not a big gloss person. I don't really like that kind of sticky feeling on my lips, but I really like this one. I think it just gives enough shine and it doesn't have that stringy feeling. So I really do like that. I hope you like this look. This is the second look with the Jeffree Star palette. Um, I think it came out pretty good. I'm really happy with it. I'm going to probably do one more look with this palette. I think I will do something... Um, Possibly a little more neutral, a little more subtle. Um, we'll see. We'll see how, how it turns out. So I hope you're having a great week. I thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.